Hello, everybody. We're going to continue with lesson 8.7, fractions of a group. We are on page 347 of the third grade textbook. And at the end of the lesson, you should be able to answer the question, how can a fraction name part of a group? Okay, so unlock the problem. Jake and Emma each have a collection of marbles. What fraction of each collection is blue? Well, how many numbers, how many total numbers of marbles does Jake have? That would make up his group or his collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's why there's eight in the denominator. There are eight equal parts in his group. How many of them are blue? One, two, three. So we would read that as three eighths or three out of eight. And we write that as a fraction of 3 over 8. So 3 eighths of Jake's marbles are blue. How about Emma's? How many total bags does she have? She has 1, 2, 3, 4. So in her collection, there are 4 equal bags. And how many bags of marbles are blue? 1. So 1 fourth of her collection, or one out of four, is blue. Okay, so now let's try this. Draw two red counters and six yellow counters. So those would be my red counters. Okay, and those represent my yellow counters. Write the fraction of counters that are red. Well, how many total counters are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total counters, and how many are red? Two. Write the fraction of counters that are not red. Well, if two are red, that means six are not. Six out of eight. So, two-eighths of the counters are red, and six-eighths are not red. Okay, page 348. Fractions greater than one. All right, so sometimes a fraction can name more than a whole group. Daniel collects baseballs. He has collected eight so far. He puts them in cases that hold four baseballs each. What part of the baseball cases has Daniel filled? What part of the baseball cases has Daniel filled? So what we want to think here is that one case equals one hole. So he has two full cases of four, right? So he has two whole cases, or how many parts are in each case? One, two, three, four. So we can take each case, have them in four equal parts, and he's got a total of eight in his set, so 8 over 4, or 2. So let's try a couple of those. So complete the whole number and the fraction greater than 1 to name the part filled. So each pan is one whole. So how many pans are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3 pans. In each pan, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal pieces. How many total? One sixth are there. Well, there's six in this one, six in this one. Six plus six is 12. 12 plus six, 12, 14, 16, 18. So there's 18 total eighteen one six pieces. Each of these would be one sixth of the whole number. Okay, so we have three total pans. 
Each pan has six pieces, so 18 out of six. All right, here, one box of pencils is a hole. All right, so how many whole boxes of pencils do you have? You have two. Each whole box of pencils has eight. So if I have eight eighths, I would have one box. But I don't have just eight. I have eight plus eight. So I have 16 eighths pencils. 16 divided by eight is two. All right, number one. What fraction of the counters are red? And it says, think this way. How many red counters are there? And how many counters are there in all? Okay, well, here we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're counting reds. So there's five reds out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five out of eight. Okay, number two, write a fraction to name the red part of each group. So here we have one, two, three, four apples and one, two of them are red. In this one, we have three equal groups. So three circles. And how many of the circles are red? One third. Number four. Write a whole number and a fraction greater than one to name the part field. Each of these cartons is one whole. Okay, so how many cartons of tomatoes do we have? We have three. Each carton is broken into one, two, three, four tomatoes. So how many total tomatoes do we have? We have four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 one fourths. Each tomato would be one fourth of the total. All right. And these think one container equals one. So how many containers do we have? We have two containers. How many equal parts are in each container? Six equal parts in each container. So that's going to be your denominator. So if each of these flowers is one sixth, let's see how many we have. We have one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths, seven sixths, eight sixths, nine sixths, ten sixths, eleven sixths, twelve sixths. All right, for six through nine, write a fraction to name the blue part of each group. So how many hats do we have total in this group? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many are blue? Well, just one. So one sixth of that group is blue hats. Number seven, how many crayons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many are blue? One, two, Three. Three eighths of the group is blue. In number eight, I have four groups of two. So I'm just going to say that there's four in my four equal groups in my collection. And how many groups are blue? This one and this one. So there's two fourths of the group. Number nine. Okay, I have two equal groups. How many parts are blue? Well, this whole group is blue, so one half of the group is blue. For 10 and 11, write a whole number and a fraction greater than one. Okay, each container of tennis balls is one whole. How many containers do we have? One, two, three, four. How many equal parts are in each whole set? Well, there's three in each one, right? 
All right. So each tennis ball is one third. One third, two thirds, three thirds. Four thirds, five thirds, six thirds. Seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds. Ten thirds, eleven thirds, twelve thirds. All right, number 11, each carton equals one. Well, I have two cartons. And how many par equal parts are in each carton? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So each egg is one twelfth. One twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, nine twelfths, 10 twelfths. 11 twelfths, 12 twelfths, 13 twelfths, 14 twelfths, 15 twelfths, 16 twelfths, 17 twelfths, 18 twelfths, 19 twelfths, 20 twelfths, 21 twelfths, 22 twelfths, 23 twelfths, 24 twelfths. Okay, so EJ is 1 twelfth. Draw a quick picture on your math board. I'm just going to do it right in the book. Then write a fraction to name the shaded part of the group. Draw eight circles. Okay. Shade eight circles. Well, if I have eight circles and I have to shade all eight, isn't that one whole of the set? No, the whole thing's shaded. So we could say eight eighths of the circles are shaded or one. One whole. All right, number 13, draw eight triangles, make four groups, and shade one group. Okay, eight triangles. And we need to make four groups. So we can make four groups of two, right? And we're going to shade one group. So what fraction of the group is shaded? One, two, three, four equal groups. And one of them is shaded. Number 14. Draw four rectangles and shade two rectangles. All right, how many parts are in the group? There are four equal parts in the group, and we shaded two-fourths of them. All right, page 350. The bar graph, okay, so use the graph for 15, 16. Let's see if we understand the graph. So the title of our graph is the school marble tournament. And the, the horizontal, I'm sorry, the vertical graph bar is the number of games won. And it goes from zero games to six games won. And then we have four players. So these are the number of games each of these players won. Okay, so the bar graph shows the winners of the Smith Elementary School Marble Tournament. How many games were played? What fraction of the games did Scott win? Okay, so we have two parts here. How many games were played and what fraction of the games did Scott win? All right, well, Robin won two games. Heidi won three games. Scott won two games. And Trent won one game. So we need to add those all up to figure out how many games were played. Two and two is four. Three and one is four. 
four and four is eight. So eight games were played. Scott won two games. So he won two eighths of the games. What fraction of the games did Robin not win? Well, Robin won two games. So eight take away two equals six. So she did not win six eighths of the games. 17. Lee has six marbles. Of them, one third are blue. The rest are red. Draw a picture to show Lee's marbles. Okay. So, we can put it this way. Okay. And we could say one third of the group is blue, the rest are red. Well, there has to be an equal amount in each group. Okay. So there are six marbles. And so one third of the group is blue. Two thirds red. You could also do it this way six marbles, that would be two sixths, okay. Um, which is the same as one third. So this is not the way we want to do this one. We want to put them into three groups. Okay. So it's, it's easier to see. So one third groups are blue. So there has to be two marbles in each group because there's six total. One of the three groups of two has to be blue. The rest are red. All right. Now 18, a bag has two yellow cubes, three blue cubes, and one white cube. The answer is one sixth. What's the question? What fraction of the bag is white. White cubes. And 19. Michaela picked some flowers. What fraction of flowers are yellow or red? Yellow or red? What fraction of the flowers are not yellow or red? Show your work. So we have two questions here, yellow or red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight flowers total. There are one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths that are yellow or red. So how many flowers are not yellow or red? Well, one, two, three. Three eggs are not red or yellow. Okay, so that's it for lesson 8.7. The next time we meet, we'll be talking about finding part of a group using unit fractions. So until then, May the numbers always be in your favor.